Stephen, it's uh, another win today, but we'll uh, we'll take a look at the season as a whole, I suppose. What's your overall assessment of the uh, the Red Bull campaign we've uh, we've just witnessed at Trent Bridge? Yeah, ultimately the word that I keep saying um, to numerous people is I'm just really proud. I think uh, for a side to come, you know, off the back of three seasons without a win, um, and to put performances in to to win games for this club, um, you know, it's been really proud for me to lead that side. I feel very privileged to have the honour. Um, but not just the players, I think the support from the backroom staff, you know, after that, uh, them three years, um, you know, it had been very easy for, for people to walk away and, and shy away from the challenge, but we've not done that. And I just heard Ben say to you that um, it's a journey and we're still on that journey. Our ultimate goal is to win the county championship. Uh, it's not to be this year, but um, I think that we've probably got a chance of having the most wins, most batting on bowl, bowling bonus points. So everybody can be really proud. Um, you know, we rest up and then when it comes to November, we meet up again, we, we set our challenges for next year. Even last year, I think um, you finished with the most bonus points in the country. But then to have gone on this year, how big a difference did it make to then go on and get the wins as well? How much did that sort of help spur you on for the rest of the campaign? Yeah, well, obviously I was getting tweets. I think it was 1,042 days uh, before we got that first win at Derby. But, you know, you felt it was coming. We had a few, um, you know, the, the real turning point for me was when Hassan and Ben batted them two days out at Worcester. And then we went into the Derby game straight after, um, you know, with our bowlers fresh on a wicket that suited us with Broad, Patterson and Fletcher. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, losing's a habit. Obviously, we've proven that. And I think winning's a habit. We've proven that as well. So, look, all we did is turn up every day, try and get better. Um, you know, and on another day, we might have got over the line, but it wasn't to be this year. And we obviously wish Lancashire and Warwickshire all the best, whoever comes out on top. Yeah, what is it that makes winning a habit? Is it as simple as continuing to do your job to the best of your ability day by day, or is there something more going on than that? Well, I, I think that the one big thing that we've done is that we've really brought it back and stayed in the moment. We've never looked too far ahead. So when we've had a win, we know that we've got to start against good teams again. I think that was epitomised probably by after the derby game, we came here against the current champions in Essex. Um, it have been phenomenal for, for a number of years now in red ball cricket. Uh, and we really, I think we bowled them out for 99 and then obviously got a decent lead and won that game. Um, with a day's rain as well. And then, you know, Worcester, I think we got two days play, we managed to win that game. Um, so I don't know what how or what the habit is, but uh, I think one of the main ingredients that we've had all year is really bringing it back and staying in the moment. There's probably three players who've been honoured in particular over the course of the last few days. Uh, Starting with Brett Hutton, who received his county cap earlier in, uh, earlier in the fixture. What have you made of his return to Trent Bridge? He's worked his absolute socks off to get in really, really good physical condition. And that helps him both 34 overs on the last day of the season like he did yesterday. And he's been, you know, thoroughly rewarded with his county cap. And, you know, he's a mainstay for us in this bowling unit. And hopefully he's got plenty more uh, wickets for us and, and hopefully some runs as well. We said farewell to Peter Trigo, of course, as well on the field a couple of days ago. How big was his contribution, I suppose, on and off the field of play over the last two seasons? Yeah, I, think I watched his interview with you, actually, Matt. And, you know, he said he probably didn't have the, the performances that he wanted. But I think his career was probably epitomised by that finals day knock you know he didn't play the whole competition he stuck in you know and things happen uh Moses probably more experienced than anyone saying that uh and sometimes you think that it's not going to happen but you know Nashi went down in that in that semi-final and he came in and played one of the match winning innings along with Ben Duckett in that final so you know 22 years service to any um any employment but especially in sport to to have the hunger and desire um that he has to keep himself fit and put in performances. He never shies away from a challenge. You know, he always wants the ball. He always wants to be the man with the bat. Um, you know, and more than that, I think that everybody in that dressing room has made a friend for life and he, he's a fantastic person and I wish him all the well in whatever whatever he does next. And Luke Fletcher, leading wicket taker in the championship, county championship MVP as well. You've obviously known Luke for a long time. So what, what does this mean to you, I suppose, to see him succeed so well this year? I think his his continued growth to want to improve. I think he's not he's never settled for being second best. You know it hurt him last year not playing any games of cricket in in the uh, in the championship. I know that, and he came back, got himself really fit and strong. Um, and I think he's played all but one coach championship games and 66 wickets. So uh, you know I, I can't speak highly enough enough of him as a person. Um, I'm proud to be his captain. I'm proud to be his colleague. But more importantly, I'm just proud to be one of his best mates. And as captain as well, what does it mean to you to have led Notts to the first top three finish in, in six summers in the championship? Yeah, I think it was, a you know, we speak a lot. It was a byproduct of doing the right thing for long enough. And, you know, a lot of people, I think, wouldn't have believed or kept believing that they could turn a corner. But we did. And when we got that lucky break at Derby, when we played well, 
that was the turning point for us. Um, I'm just really proud to be associated with a club and a group of guys who want to continue to get better. Uh, and we're on a journey, and this is just part of the journey. We, we obviously didn't get over the line this year, but you can bet your bottom dollar that we'll be coming back in April next year trying to go one better and get to the top of the table. Cheers, Thank you.